Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So this is going to be the part five of InShorts clone series. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can hide your API key when you deploy to Netlify. So currently, as you can see, our API key is in wide open, this uh, config file. So I want to hide it. So what can I do? So let's see. So in the root folder of your project, you need to create another file called .env. And inside of that file, you need to create a variable. I'm going to name it API key. And let's copy this and paste it over here. Great. Now let's go to our app.js file. Now, since we have created a .env file, we need to restart our server. So let's kill the server and restart it. All right. So how we can use that particular variable? we can use that by typing process.env.variable name. So let's just log uh, process.env first. Let's see what we get inside of this process.env. Let's go to our console. Oh yeah, all right. We get these many variables, but we don't have our variable inside of that. So how are we supposed to get our variable inside of there? So what you have to do is this, go to your .env file, type react underscore app underscore whatever the name of your file is. This is very important if you want to use .env in your react app. So yeah, I'm going to save this and I'm going to restart the server again since we have changed made changes to the .env file. Here it is. Let's see, moment of truth, if it works or not. Let's go to the console. And we got something. Here we go. We got our API key inside of this variable. All right, now let's just use that. And I'm gonna delete this config.js file since we don't need it anymore. So I'm gonna delete it from here as well. And instead of this, I'm gonna write process.env dot what, what was the name of our file react underscore app underscore api underscore key let's save this and check if our app works or not and here it is it's working now let's just uh, push it to the github and deploy to netlify because we need to provide this particular variable to the netlify as well so first of all what i'm going to do is in my dot get ignore file i'm going to uh yeah dot env i'm gonna add this i think it's already added so it might work but let's just add the dot env for our safety so uh, uh so what it's going to do it's it's not going to push dot env to our github now so let's kill the server and push our changes to the github get add dot let's say dot env added all right i hope it's fine now let's go to our netlify real quick this is our netlify oops i forgot to push it git push origin master all right let's refresh it and it's gonna start building our website again so let's go to the site setting. Let me search where are these variables. Um, yep, there we go. Environment variable. So we need to provide it the variable value. So react, uh, whatever the name is, and the value. Copy and paste it over here. Let's save that. And hopefully our site is going to work now. Let's wait for it to complete the build process. And here we go, the site is live. Let's just check the site if it's working the same or not. All right, here we go, it's working fine. Our site is perfectly deployed and yeah, I guess it's complete now. So yeah, thank you all for watching this series. 
of InShorts clone. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.